Hey, welcome to the very first episode of the Real Meal Podcast. We're here, we serve up life's bullshit on a plate. Yes, sir. My name's Jacob. I'm Joe. And on today's episode, we're going to go back five years and reminisce on a very, uh, at the time, scary topic, but later in the future became pretty funny and stupid. That's five years already. That's crazy. Yeah, five years. Feels like it went by super fast. So yeah. Literally, it only feels like it fucking happened like... Like fucking last week, dude. <laughs> I would say probably like a year because <laughs> I did a lot of growing as a person between that time. Oh, well, yeah, but like coming from the perspective of the one that was in that situation to begin with. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to say shit because this didn't happen to me, so I'll let Joseph pretty much describe what exactly happened. Yeah, so I guess five years ago already, um, I was out in front of my school. I was sitting up on the sign waiting for my mom to pick me up, and I'm just chilling. I was talking to my friends and stuff, and then out of nowhere, this group of little gangbangers, quote-unquote, I guess you could call them, I don't know, they walk up to me. Yeah, faggots, fucking goddamn. (laughs) Yeah, they walk up to me, they're talking a bunch of shit and they're like oh yeah i heard what you said da, 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 da. whatever i didn't really care and um apparently i told them to pull up their pants i was talking to my friends around me i didn't really care i didn't see who was going by i didn't i didn't say what they said i said does that make sense That's yeah kinda, yeah but yeah so i was just chilling up on the sign in front of the school and then they walk up and they start talking hella shit. And I was being me. I was talking back a little bit. I wasn't saying too much. And um, one of them, I thought everything was over because one of them turned around. I thought they were all going to walk away. But he grabbed a can of Pepsi with two sips taken out of it and turned around and threw it at me. It hit me right, right there on my head on the right side. I was more like... Was it like a fucking 16 ounce or was it just like one of the... No, nah, it was a regular like... It was a regular like small can like... It wasn't like the size of the rocks or No, 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 no. I'm not speaking of. Other than that, it still fucking hurts, but... Yeah, no, yeah it hurt. Um, he threw it pretty hard too. So, I flipped out. I jumped off the sign and I fucking pushed him. He, th- he threw a punch and missed by a mile. Um... I kind of like I actually kind of laughed at it and then I punched him once and he's like guys come help me this fucker's huge talking to all his friends and um then <laughs> a teacher ran out with a fucking like what was it? I think it was a ruler like swinging it around like she was gonna beat somebody with it and she's like get out of here stop it and I was like alright fucking corporal punishment <laughs> right and um yeah that happened that was two days before Everything really went down. Question. What's up? I know. Did I miss that? Did I come out like as soon as that shit happened? I don't think you came out at all that day. I, I don't remember you being there at least. Uh, you so might I found have. out about it like the next day at school. Yeah. Or I might have texted you about it or something. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly who was there. I remember Ivy being there. I remember Chris being there. Jamie, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I remember a couple of people being there, but yeah, I remember one of my classmates the next day. I think it was who? I think it was DK. He he was like, yeah, I saw that all. Like I saw that all go down, and uh, he was gonna jump out of the car and like like help me, and then he saw the teacher run out with a paintbrush and stayed in the car. Yeah, and then um, the next day, I'm sitting there doing the same thing. I'm chilling. I'm waiting for my mom again. And then across the street, because across the street from our school was Taco Bell. And that was the fucking headquarters. <laughs> yeah, that was the headquarters of like everybody. Like everybody was there all the time. Not only that, that was my fucking. That's my favorite restaurant of all time. My favorite <laughs> fast food restaurant. Favorite high class. Like, you know, artificial Mexican. No, nah, not even. That's authentic, bro. 
I'm probably going <laughs> to fucking offend every Mexican listening to this podcast. Right? I don't give a damn. That's okay. funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, um, just, 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 just to get this out of the way, I say shit that I don't mean a lot. So if I offend you, then that's on you because I really don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have no filter. Life's too short to have a filter. So exactly. Uh, but um, sorry, not sorry. Right. But so yeah, the next day everybody was at Taco Bell. Me and my friends were back in front of the school. We were just hanging out, and these fucking group of kids walk by again, start talking hella shit from across the street. Uh, oh, you had that Pepsi taste, and I looked at him, I laughed, I was like, actually, it was pretty good. And then I pulled out a Pepsi from my fucking backpack and started drinking it. <laughs> Hell yeah. And um, and they were like, hey, whatever. <laughs> and I think, I think Tyler was there at that time. Were you there at that time? I think you were. Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah. Then um, because I re- I remember you guys talking like the next day that that shit was gonna go down. Yeah. Um. So, well, in all honesty, I didn't really like plan for everything to happen. I didn't plan to get in a fight with this dude. I didn't plan fucking shit any of that. Practically fell into place. Yeah, I just kind of all like fell fell together, and I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing. But after that, nobody really messed with me. After this whole situation happened? Nobody really, like, fucked with anybody, honestly. Uh Uh-uh. I think, like, the closest thing that happened to that was fucking Dakota almost getting jumped. Yeah, that was... That wasn't even, like, in the same group. No, that was... I I don't... Dakota wasn't even fucking there, was she? Uh, yeah, she was. I'm pretty sure she was. Um... Uh, let's see. Where were we at? We were... Like, the day before. Yeah, the day before. Um... (laughs) I think... Shit, dude. I remember, like, the, like that day at school. Mm-hmm. I remember just, like, everybody talking about it. And I was talking to a couple of the friends, like, a couple of our friends, and I was going to film it. I just left my fucking camera at home. And <laughs> you brought a whole-ass GoPro. <laughs> a whole-ass... Make it sound like that shit's big. <laughs> I think it fits in the palm of your hand. <laughs> If I brought my camcorder and my microphone, oh, that'd have been hella my funny. My fucking interface, have, have, have the whole like arm hanging over the fight. That'd be and even funny. then, like fucking only fifteen seconds were recorded, right? And then uh, everybody, everybody at school was was talking about that. Everybody was talking about how you and this we're we're gonna call him F. Well, like it wasn't even him in the first place. Like some people were saying, like, oh yeah, he's gonna like. Joe's gonna fight so and so, and I was like, I, I've never heard of these people in my life. And um, I was like, all right, I'm not fighting anybody, first of all. It happened, it's over with. I'm gonna try to avoid this stuff at all, like, as much as I can. But, um, me being me, I uh, <laughs> didn't. <laughs> it's kind of like they're, they themselves were escalating this situation to the point where you really had no choice but to fight. Yeah. Um, so the day of the whole situation, um, I I was doing the same thing as always. Like I said, chilling in front of school, waiting for my mom to pick me up. And then everybody was at Taco Bell once again. But one of my friends went over there and they were like, hey, you're friends with this guy. And she was like, yeah, so what? And he's like, tell him I want to fight him one on one. So she came back and told me that, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to be, like, looked at as, like, some little pussy that's going to back down from a fight. Especially looking at the size of this kid. (laughs) Yeah, right, he was, like, fucking a foot smaller than me, he was scrawnier than me, I think, at the time, at least. I will say he was, like, two feet smaller than you. Almost, yeah. But, um, so we all walked down to the park, and as we're walking there... People are hopping out of fucking alleys and bushes left and right. Like, how many people would you say were there? On our side, well, here's the thing. On our side, there's, like, so much fucking hype from all of our friends saying, oh, yeah, something happens. We're going to fucking beat some ass, dude. We're going to fucking kick their ass. When About, I'm, like, 50% of those people didn't show up. Yeah. And the people that did show up didn't do a fucking thing, especially uh, fucking Chris. Mm-hmm. Showed up with fucking gloves. That way, 
I don't know. He didn't bruise his hands, and he had a fucking knife, and nothing. Nothing ever came out of that. But yeah, um, I would say, out of from our side, I'm not gonna count like the people that were by standing on our. Like, yeah, they were just gonna walk and like following up with us. People that actually plan to like help you out. Yeah. Let's see. There's you, me, Austin, uh, Bree, Rowan. Tyler. Yeah, Rowan Tyler. Was Sh- Schroeder? Yeah, he was there. Yeah, I think I feel like he was kind of there for Bree, though. Wasn't yeah, I probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, but <laughs> it was hella funny on the way over there. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> but on their side, it was probably oh, yeah. like fucking close, fifteen, twenty people. Yeah, at least that was. I was I was like, oh god, I know exactly what's happening. I remember like it's so just... much shit coming out of their mouths, like nigga, 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 nigga. <laughs> and I remember like fucking talking shit on the sideline to Austin while Austin was like all propped up and badass. I was like, dude, these guys say the N word a lot, man. <laughs> this is like when I was still like young and like new to this whole fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I've never seen this much, <laughs> this many retards in one group, <laughs> <laughs> right? But uh, anyway, <laughs> so um, yeah, on the way over there, Tyler, his uh, he he had a sprained wrist, so if he did fight, he would be in a lot more pain. With like every fucking punch, it would get worse and worse for him. I personally didn't want anybody else jumping in if anything happened. But um, <laughs> while we were at the school, Tyler ripped off his fucking wrist brace and started. <laughs> Started dancing around. Too. Yeah, he ripped off his uh, wrist brace and his shirt. This he, that was the most fucking ballsy thing I've ever right. seen in my life. The ballsy and dumbest thing. Yeah, while we were walking over there, Tyler was taunting him. He was, he was like running up to this one dude. He was running away as soon as that dude squared up. Like, dude, and then like, he ended up turning around and mooning the guy. Yeah, I remember because. Like, we were just walking. Everybody was, like, all serious. And then he just pops up out of nowhere. He's like, who's the motherfucker that wants to fight? Which one of you motherfuckers <laughs> wants some? And then, like, he, like, started, like, taunting them, like, running up to them and, like, running come on, away. fuck you guys up, motherfuckers. And then one of them was like, we'll score up then, nigga. Come on. Let's fucking go. And he was like, let's go. I'll fuck you up. And then he got into, like, a karate stance, like, ready to do that final kick in the karate kid. Right. And, uh. <laughs> and then after that like that dude didn't even like continue pursuing him like he just walked back and then he pulled down his pants and just flashed his white ass to the crowd just rallied them up even more it's funny cause like like <laughs> me and Frank er, me, uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> F. almost slipped a, slipped a name there me and F were talking hell of shit to each other and then I turn around to see like who's behind us and I just see Tyler's white ass and <laughs> I don't know why he pulled his pants down this much, but you just you <laughs> you could just see nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just remember seeing ass and nuts, and I was like, "Oh God, what the fuck!" And and also the other thing was that where we were at the time, there's a fucking O'Reilly's, and the people are coming out of there and telling us, "Oh yeah, you guys better fucking stop, or we're gonna call the cops." And I think like they did. Yeah, they did, and everybody was like, shut the fuck up and go back in your store, you white bitch. She was black. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I remember that very clearly. <laughs> but, um, so... I was just focused on not getting fucking blindsided. <laughs> right? No, if, if anybody would have gotten blindsided, it, it would have been me, for sure. Or Tyler. <laughs> yeah, it should have been fucking Tyler. It should have been, but it wasn't. Like, no offense, I fucking love you, Tyler. I miss you, man. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was, it was, it was just a weird, it, it was weird the entire way to the park. It was um, fucking, it's, it's etched in my brain because, you know, like, see, that was, this was like my first time seeing shit like this. And, uh, we went to, uh, our local stoner park and that's what we called it. We have like three parks where we live, Mexican park, tweaker park, and then stoner park like right outside of our school people just go there smoke weed because it's a pretty like well hidden park going to the playground the playground's yeah, it's pretty really close. like it's really just like i don't know it's just hidden behind all these fucking yeah. random ass buildings it's almost like a fucking cul-de-sac right so that was i guess that was like 
the, the park to smoke weed and fucking throw down. Yeah, there's a lot of fights there. Um, so yeah. <laughs> you want me to? Can I, can I actually tell it like through my experience? Like, yeah, yeah, go for it. So I've heard Joseph's stories of him getting into fights all the fucking time, like the different types of uh, shit that he did. Unfortunately. And, <laughs> and like I was, I was, I was actually kind of excited. I remember, I remember fucking as soon as we got out of school. I literally rode my bike as fast as I could home, dropped off my backpack, grabbed my camera, come back, and we're fucking ready. He didn't even record it on your phone. You brought a GoPro. Dude, my phone was (laughs) shitty back then. Yeah. (laughs) It wouldn't have been worth it. Huh? Still shitty. Well, I mean, the one I had now. I mean, I've gotten good phones (laughs) for the years, but... I'm just giving you shit. Anyway, fucking... (laughs) As soon as, like, that whole thing was going to, like, go down, I was, like, I looked at Austin. I was, like, fuck, dude. Can't believe I'm finally going to see Joseph fight. <laughs> and then I remember you just, you literally just walked. You didn't stop. You didn't look back at us or anything. You just took your fucking phone out, threw it on the ground, and just got to work. Yeah, I took it, I took out my phone, threw it on the ground, took out my wallet, threw that on the ground. I think Chris picked him up, yeah? Yeah, and then fucking... Just like that, you you squared up, and I was like, "God damn it, this is this is the moment I've been waiting for." <laughs> Fucking, f- you guys were throwing like throwing jabs, kind of, or Frankie was trying to like fucking size uh, you up, yeah, trying he, to, like figure he, you out. He's all leaning back, trying to like throw these punches, like these wide ass punches, he's throwing fucking like cat punches. Yeah, he was missing just about every single. I think he got like one or two solid hits on me. But and then you just fucking clobbed him down. <laughs> like I wasn't taking it seriously, like whatsoever. I was. I was, I was standing there. I was kind of like walking towards him. He was backing up and I was literally just throwing, was it all rights? Yeah. I was just throwing all, I think I like in the middle of it, I was like, oh wait, I should probably throw a left. So I threw one left and then continue with the rights. And you fucking just grabbed his shirt and just clobbered him down to the ground. Yeah. Well, he hit his head on the fucking, the bench, the concrete bench. Yeah. Fuck that dude. Um, and then yeah as soon as as soon as his head hit that bench i just felt like like i had a bunch of adrenaline going through me already i saw all his boys around him i saw fucking my friends way back there i don't know why why were you guys so far back in the first place <laughs> that's because you guys moved so fucking wow oh, dude i was right by you where and you? then you fucking yeah you moved you uh-huh. just kept pressing forward into the trap yeah i, I shouldn't have moved forward i should have kept on the grass and kind of in shouldn't have brought it over to the concrete but i did um yeah so as soon as he hit his head on the bench i felt kind of like something hit the back of my head it didn't really hurt like i said i had all that adrenaline adrenaline and stuff going through me and i was just like kind of like what the fuck okay and then i look over and just see austin just jumping in just all gung-ho he was He was picking people up. He was slamming them. I was like, oh, He was fuck. getting punched? Yeah, he was getting messed up. So he's a wrestler. He knows how to pick people up, take them to the ground, and keep them there. And that's one person at a time. Keep in mind, there were, was it 11 people jumping us? Yeah. You guys had like fucking four or five people on you guys at once. Yeah, both of us at the same time had like four like or five people. Three people waiting for somebody else to jump in. Yeah, and then... um. Nobody else jumped in but Austin. Uh, I didn't want him to jump in because I know how he is. I know his fighting style. He's, like I said, a wrestler. I had training in boxing and MMA and all that. But, yeah, I, I with my training, I kind of know how to block my face. I know how to throw jabs, throw hooks, and stay up. But... So I did that, and Austin took people to the ground, and he got kicked in the face. He got punched. He he got messed up. I came out with a fat lip and a bloody nose. No, I didn't even have a bloody nose, did I? You learned, you're there's just like a little bit of blood coming out of your mouth. Yeah, and then Austin, he he, full like he couldn't even open his eye. His mouth was all bloody. He was it was bad. His fucking arm was like pretty banged up too. Yeah, he's he got. I I feel bad. I really do. But um, he ripped his fucking favorite shirt too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was that's that's what he was most upset about. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what I the remember hell? that. I remember. Um. So yeah. 
that happened. I remember, I can't remember too much during the fight. It was like, I just kind of, I had tunnel vision. I saw one person, I would, I would fight him. And then there was one point where like, it was all kind of calming down. And then Austin, I remember clearly seeing Austin picking somebody up over his shoulder and slamming him on the ground. And I guess he broke his rib, uh, broke the guy's ribs right there. But while, while he picked him up, I saw the guy's face and he looked at me and for some reason I just punched him. <laughs> I, re- I remember in the fucking video, you could hear, clearly hear a guy like trying to reason with you. He was like, just go home, go home, dude. And then as soon as you threw that punch, he was like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> threw you on the ground and started stomping like, you out again. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I kind of have respect for that that guy for that one small part. Yeah. He was like, go home. Go <laughs> yeah. Home. He's like, go home. And I was being me again. Like, and why? Like, so you could fucking pummel our friend. Right. Like, and then, um, yeah, he picked him up, slammed him, broke his ribs. And the guy had him in a headlock and they were sitting there kicking his face. They were punching his back. They were throwing some pussy ass punches on his, on his back. Dude, it's good. Right. <laughs> and, um, I got, I got, uh, thrown onto the ground back about 15 feet away from him. I don't know how I got that far in that short amount of time. And then there was like four dudes on me. And then I remember Rowan, I remember from the video, Rowan, she ran up and picked the biggest dude up off of me and slammed him onto the ground. She's a tiny girl. Yeah, she she like she tripped him up. That was yeah, how, that was that was impressive. Yeah, I was I was really impressed. And fucking Bree was gonna like throw herself on top of you guys. Yeah, she was gonna throw herself on top of Austin. Uh, I think I don't know. I can't remember who she was gonna do that to, but Randy held her back. Um, I'm glad he did because she would have she would have died. Yeah. She's, she's one of the smallest people that were there. And, um, yeah, that was, that was that. Oh yeah. Then a red Mustang pulled up and two guys got out of it with 45, like fucking, I don't, I don't even know what they were. Uh, Guns. Yeah. They were guns. They were handguns. They they were both 45. Um, and as soon as somebody screamed duck, everybody just scattered. And then as soon as that happened, a cop pulled up. And then those dudes got back into the car. And they waited for a good minute. Like, they weren't leaving after the cops got there. But everybody else but me, Austin, I think you were still there. Yeah, I was still. Yeah. I was there Mo- for a while. Most of, my, uh, most of the people that were with us stayed. Everybody else kind of dipped. Yeah, that's because we knew that we weren't, like... Yeah, I, I was wrong. I wasn't at fault. I was standing up for myself. I was defending myself. But then again, I was still at fault in a sense cuz I walked to the park with the intention to fight. Yeah. I mean, dude, they they wouldn't have been able to do something if you went home first. That was like the only Yeah. The only reason why you got suspended for that week after. Yeah, I I got suspended for that. Um Tyler got suspended for that too cuz he didn't go home and he fucking flashed. He <laughs> mooned him. He got suspended for sexual harassment i think it was which was i'm pretty sure those guys felt fucking harassed <laughs> yeah that was that was funny fucking but, um, they're gonna be in the a documentary about me too <laughs> huh. they got the old fucking what louis ck treatment <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, don't uh, correct me. Don't be politically correct. I don't know what I'm <laughs> talking about. I'm just making stupid jokes. Well, what was your perspective on that whole thing? Okay, my whole perspective was I went there to film, but it'd be pretty fucked up if you see your two brothers getting jumped and you kept filming it. Oh, shit. And dropping stuff. So I did not film, did not continue to film. I just felt wrong for doing that. And, you know, like... At the time, you know, seeing something like that was pretty fucking scary. And the only thing that I knew how to do is panic and cry like a little bitch. <laughs> because, I mean, you see your two best friends getting their fucking heads stomped on. Fuck. That's it's just not something that you, you want to see. But it's like, if I were to jump in, I would have realized the fact that I just would have been another body to be kicked around because there's no fucking way that we were going to take all of them out. Mm -hmm. 
especially at the time because I really like wasn't that confident in like fighting shit fighting and shit but like it's kind of like if you were to look today like if this were to happen today how do you think that shit would have turned out with the friends that we have now I I have no doubt in my mind that more people would have jumped in and helped me because you know I fucking would now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you would. I, would find, I know you would. I know Gus would. I know fucking Kenji Miguel would. would probably Kenji fucking would, Kenji stab would kill people somebody. in the throat. Kenji would kill somebody. Um, I feel yeah. like Marcus was there too, huh? Marcus wasn't. Oh no, Marcus oh, was he, talking about it, but his mom made him go home. Yeah, no, no. But if I know if he was there, he would have he would have jumped in probably most likely. Um, I would have fucking took down Bryant too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, drop the name. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Beep. No. Uh, excuse me. Jesus. Yeah, after that whole thing, you know, I think like the thing that like broke my fucking heart or like yeah, kind of like messy up the me, most. Yeah, was seeing Austin. Yeah, I seen Austin's fucking up. Austin fucked up, dude. It's like you only see that shit in movies and that's special effects, but you know, seeing that actually happen in real life, especially to like people that you care about so much, that was that was pretty fucking it's pretty messed up <laughs> right but uh yeah I remember the next day seeing Austin's face his fucking eye was swollen shut and it was black then uh he got called to the office you both got called to the office and yeah. I didn't see you for a week nope I got suspended for fighting and it was considered a gang related um what was it? What's it called? Gang related something? Yeah. Because they were a quote unquote gang. The fucking principal like didn't want to spend you, suspend you. No, or, huh? no, he didn't. He pulled you up for questioning. He pulled up a couple people for questioning. Um, I remember after the fight, me and Austin took a selfie. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. uh, I tried to take a selfie with the cop, and she was like, "No, I don't look good right now." And I was like, <laughs> "I mean, like in my head, I was like, oh, you low key kind of thick, but like." <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Well, <laughs> what you might call it, yeah. But what you might call it, yeah. What you might call it. Uh, the day after was fucking. It was bad. It was bad for me, yeah. mainly because since I was I was like one of the few people there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like everybody was asking me shit, and then some people were even like trying to tell the story when they weren't even there. Like right. they were fucking making shit up. And that just pissed me off, and I fucking, like, I got so worked up after seeing that and, like, people telling me what happened when I fucking saw the whole thing. Yeah, when you fucking lived it. Um, yeah. When, like, when I got to school the next day, everybody was, like, walking up to me, like, well, what happened? And, like, I had a bunch of people, like, walking up, giving me high fives, giving me handshakes, saying, like, good job, you stood up for yourself, like, you, like, you didn't back down from getting jumped, a lot of people would. And I was like, in all honesty, and I, I didn't, for whatever reason, expect to get jumped until I was there. And I was, like, by the time I got there, I was like, you know what? Whether I leave now, like, if I left now, they would jump me another day. They would probably jump me the next day, or they, they, would, they would still jump me regardless. And they would figure something out. And then um, I was like, you know, I'm already here. I'm just gonna fucking send it, so I did. But um, yeah, like like I said, the next day uh, when I got back to school, everybody was like, "Oh, giving me props, giving me high fives and shit." And um, like they don't, they were like, "Oh yeah, you don't even look like you really got jumped. Your ears a little bruised. You got a fat lip, and that's about it." And then, <laughs> pretty much all you could say was, "Well, I mean, I didn't take most of the damage." Yeah, <laughs> I really didn't. Austin took a lot of that, and oh, you should have seen the other guy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I said, I think I said that to a couple of people, like kind of joking, and they're like, "Oh man, I believe it," and I was like, "Don't believe it." <laughs> I mean, you should see Austin, and they did. They're like, "Oh fuck, okay." But um, yeah, I remember getting, I was in class. And one of the guys that was that jumped us, he was in my class and he was sitting there trying to twist the story. He was like my teacher was asking, like, why he had a bruised face and like had a messed up lip and all that. And he, then he looked at me. He's like, why do you have a fat lip? Like, did you two get in a fight? And uh, we were like, 
Like, I, I was like, oh, I guess you could say that. And he was like, nah. And tried to twist the story saying like, oh, no, yeah. he beat me up. Him and his gang jumped me. Right. No, but uh, <laughs> he, he, he was saying that I was fighting somebody. I was fighting one of his friends. And then Austin decided to jump in and like jump this dude. Why would he do that? Austin's not that kind of guy. We're we're like we're not those kind of people. We're not going to jump people. That's some pussy shit. No. Here's the thing though. You can't really twist the story up when there's fucking camera proof. Yeah. <laughs> there's exactly. video proof. Yeah, and then um fucking I I remember showing my teacher the video. And my teacher laughed, looked at him. He's like, "You're a pussy." <laughs> Fuck yeah. I miss that teacher, dude. He was so dope. What teacher is that? Bono? Oh, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then I, it, immediately after uh, showing him the video and, like, like talking to my teacher about it, he, like, he was kind of all booty tickled in the corner. And then my teacher got a phone call and said that I needed to go up to the office. And I was like, oh, fuck, okay. So I went up to the office, and the principal sat me down. He's like, so where'd you get your training? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you're getting into a good stance right there. Like I, I've, I've seen, I know, I know training when I see it. And I was like, well, I went to Richard Perez boxing. I did this and that in the past. He was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And, um, like he was telling me how he didn't want to suspend me because I was standing up for myself and doing this and that. But he had to, because again, I didn't go home before this all happened. If I went home, I wouldn't have got suspended. I would. It would have just. It wouldn't have been their problem. But the school officer went over there and questioned me at like, they they, when the whole fight broke up, he was there. Um, then. What else did he say? I can't remember off the top of my head what he said, but like. I, I, long story short, I ended up getting suspended. He pulled a bunch of other people in for questioning to see, to see, to get the full story, to really understand. And so, yeah, I got suspended for a week. And um, in that week, I went to Six Flags. <laughs> and I was crippledly depressed. <laughs> I was, I was living it, dude. I was having a good time. But, uh, yeah, would you say would you re- say that you fucking like regret being in that whole thing? No, I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. Um, like I said earlier, nobody really messed with me after that. And I remember getting shit before that for a couple of reasons. You but, mean what? You mean like after they? Would you say like try to fuck with you a little bit more after? They um, wouldn't, like, fuck with you. They would just taunt you and just oh, give yeah. us all dirty looks oh, and shit. I remember fucking walking to 7-Eleven. There's one dude across the street, and then there's me and my my small group of friends. We're just sitting there and, like, walking, and when I look over, and this dude's by himself throwing up gang signs, talking a bunch of shit, and I was like, all right, that's kind of funny. Like, I just, like, there's, there's no point. And, um, yeah. That other than that, there's really no, there's really nobody messing with me. Um, it's uh, I remember one time we were walking home from Taco Bell, mm-hmm. and then we passed by the guy that you fought, and he was walking with two girls, and it was just me and you. You had your guitar in your hand. You looked at him right in your eye because he was mugging you, and you just went faggot. Oh yeah. <laughs> And he just he just looks so like awestruck. He didn't know what to do. Yeah, the girls looked at me, <laughs> laughed, and looked at him, and laughed even harder. <laughs> he just that was so fucking badass because at that point he grew to your like height. Yeah, I I don't I don't care how big the dude is. Like if he really wants to fight me that bad, or if he's really so fucking booty tickled about something, either talk to me about it, and we could work something out, or do something about it. Like. <laughs> I'm so, I'm not gonna stop you. I I remember like after hearing that I was like I was shocked halfway home and the other half I was just dying. Yeah. <laughs> was that the day that uh that the Mustang started doing donuts in the fucking 
in the intersection? That happened the before the fight. Was it? Yeah. I don't remember that. I thought it was the same day. Oh, fuck. I just turned the PS4 on. That's ah, fine. shit. Fuck it. It's fine. But, um, dude, I, I remember, like, the day after that shit happened. Oh, shit. The TV turns on now. Oh, what? Where's no, the remote's remote? right there. What the fuck? Okay. But anyway, I remember Varnum. Varnum was fucking pissed because Austin was, like, one of his star wrestlers and shit. Yeah. And then, like, I remember me. What was this kid's name? I think it was Andrew. Mm-hmm. Me, Andrew, and Varnum were just fucking pissed. Let me turn off this PS4 real quick. <clears throat> we fucking... We were, we were just, like, depressed the whole day because of, like, what happened. And everybody was just coming to me and questioning me, you know, like, what happened, this happened, this happened. But... I just didn't want to talk about it. Right. But then again, when people were, like, starting to tell their own, like, version of the story, I had to, like, speak up. I remember there's this bitch named Kelly. (laughs) I don't care if she listens. I fucking hate you. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love you. (laughs) Just kidding. I don't don't love you, but... (laughs) You don't have hate for her. You don't have have love for her. At the time, I hated you, but, like, now I don't know you anymore. (laughs) Right. Um, anyway, she was, like, mouthing off, like, pretending that she was there. And then I told her, I was like, dude, how are you going to, like, stretch the story out? I literally just saw my fucking, my homies get their heads stomped in, and you're going to act like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's like, stop being a piece of shit and stop trying to, like, switch the story up. Like, for me personally, um, like, I've, there's been so many people that started doing shit like that. Like saying, like acting like they were there and saying, oh, oh yeah, this happened, that happened, this is why it happened. Like I just kind of look at them and I was like, no, but you can think what you want to think. Like there's, it's not really gonna change anything. I never really took offense to it. I never really like got all butt hurt about it. It was just one of those things where it's like, there's always gonna be somebody twisting the story and making, making me look like the bad guy or like making. I don't know, making something up. But, um, I remember very clearly me and, I think it was me and Shaylee and a couple other people, we were at McDonald's. This was months later. Um, I was there too, was I? Were you? When, uh, like, this was when that, there was one guy that walked up to me, he, like, he's like, hey, and I was like, what's up? And he's like, I heard you got problems with my cousin. And I was like, well, who's your cousin? And he's like, blank. He's, he's, F. He, F. <laughs> he, he said the guy's name. And I was like, dude, that was months ago. I like, I had no problems with him to, be, to begin with. To be honest, I, I'd never heard of it. I've never heard of this kid in my life until then. He was like, all right, well, I'm just saying, if you have problems with him, you're going to have to fight me first. And I was like. I already fought him, fucker. <laughs> yeah, I already fought him. And I'm not. I'm not going to fight you because I have problems with somebody that I had problems with months ago. Like I, I, I don't really hold a grudge unless it's something like major somebody and your in all honesty, don't, Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fuck that bitch. Um, that's another story for another time. <laughs> um, I don't think we could tell that one cause no, <laughs> probably we not. Weren't, we weren't there for that. No. Um, but to me personally that, that personally I can't talk for today I don't know why it wasn't a big deal it was just it, it is what it is it was one of those things I I'm not tripping about it I was never tripping about it in the first place it is what it is I think I showed up after that because I remember you talking about that and there's fucking people in lot. There's two uh, scooter faggots in the line who are talking about it. They look yeah. back, saw you and Austin. They're like, those are the kids that got their ass with my Frankie and his boys. I don't think Austin was there. He might have been. I don't know. I can't remember. It was so long ago. Fucking five years. That's fucking crazy. <clears throat> right? Oh, you have the video right there? <laughs> should, we, should we play the audio? Sure, why not? So, uh, if, if you guys don't believe a fucking word that we're saying... We actually have, since this is a podcast and we can't do video, we're going to show you guys the audio of this fight. 
if it'll load. Back it up a little bit. Hey, no! If anyone jumps in, come on, Frankie! Hey guys, no. So that happened. There's two lines that really stick out that I'll never forget. Is when you're fighting him towards like the end before he got jumped. You could just hear Austin scream out. Fuck him, Fuck up, him up, Joseph. Fuck him up, Joseph. Yeah, that was hella funny. Let's play the other angle just until it happens. There it is. Man. Good times. Oh, yeah. Great times. So, I would say that's pretty much all I have to yeah, talk about. That's it. That was, uh, that was, that was, I think not only did that like change me as a person somewhat, like that, I think that also like solidified like a lot of friendships within our group. That's me on the phone right there. Because something like that, you just don't see that often, you know, you want to fucking be there for your homies and shit. I think that like solidified a lot of our friendships in that group. Yeah, for sure. From, like, homies to fucking family. Yep, big time. Had to stop hanging out with two cents. Yep. I, dude, after that, we went to fucking Six Flags together that same year. Yo, that's what, that's when everything really, like, clicked. That's Yeah, that, and then we went to the fucking Mayhem Festival after that. That's when I got into metal and Rockstar. Yep. So, I would say that day totally opened my eyes and changed me, which... Cheesy, I don't fucking regret. <laughs> no. Like, it's, yeah, I think about it now. It's like, oh, there's, like, it's, it's kind of funny now. There's certain shit that, like, I think about. It's like, what would have happened if I never moved to Manteca? What would have happened if I went to East Union High School? Yeah, and I think of the same like, stuff. What would have happened if I didn't fucking go to when that happened? Right. You probably wouldn't have been as emotionally fucked up obviously well I mean now I don't give a shit about anything well yeah but like, like at, <laughs> but the, at time. the time yeah but it's like yeah how did, I can't even like imagine what, what it would have been like if I did I wasn't there like yeah. how that would have fucking changed me of course it's not about me because I wasn't the one that was getting kicked around on the fucking floor yeah but still I mean what would have happened if that shit never happened no no well, I would say this was a fucking very cool first episode. I would say so. You know, just having a conversation about random things. Maybe someday we'll get a homie on here and just yeah, chat it up. <laughs> yeah, I agree. We can we can do that. Now, one thing that I want to say is that we're gonna try to make these as frequently as possible, but. I'm not gonna fucking make a promise on this being a weekly thing. We'll mm -hmm. do it as much as we can. But if we do miss out on a day, don't fucking hold a knife to our throats. Yeah, we got lives too. 
And yeah, we, we do. We, we got. We might just uh, be cooped up in our houses, locked away for for this coronavirus shit. Virus. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, I guess I'll I'll try to close it. So yeah, thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Make sure you guys are washing your hands and doing shit that they tell you because they know more than you. So yeah. just stay safe. Don't get sick. Make sure you take care of your health, your health first. And thank you for listening to the Real Meal Podcast. See you guys later. Late.